If you've been watching this channel, you know how we feel about superhero movies. Today, we have a tier list to talk about. It's not really our tier list, but uh, Collider put out a list of the top 45 movies, superhero movies of all time. And we want to talk about the top 10 because I feel like we're going to have some things that we want to move around in there. <laughs> we're going to go over the list, give you our opinions, uh, get into all the details of why. Before we do, let me introduce the guys live from the man cave. It's Kalo K, the Mama on a God. Leo, what's happening? I know there's going to be DC in this shit. <laughs> there is indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Spread love, it's the Brooklyn way. Big Chase, what's happening? I already hate it. <laughs> I, really it. I, I of course am your man in the chair a aaron and without further ado i'm going to bring up this list we're going to talk about it what i how, here's how we'll do this i will give you guys the list i have it in a in a powerpoint uh our like a presentation format i will give it to, i will give you the one at a time i will talk about the movies that just made it outside of the top 10 and then we can talk about where we feel like things might change how's that sound good Good. Let's let's get it. Let's get it. All right. So, starting off the list at number ten, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume One was the tenth highest rated superhero movie of all time. Okay. 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 Number nine, Wonder Woman: The Original. Wonder Woman One, Gal Gadot. Okay. As there's, there's your DC on the list. Is it the only DC? Maybe. Nah. <laughs> uh, number eight. Be. Number eight. Logan, I already fucking hate it. It's too low. Lo Logan, <laughs> number eight on the list, which I'm not gonna lie to you. I was like, that might be a little low. That's a fantastic fucking movie. Let's be honest. Yeah. Um, number seven, Iron Man, the original Iron Man one. We've done many lists on here. You know yeah. how we feel about really? Iron Man. Really? I, 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 I'm, I'm just, I'm just telling you guys what Collider says. Don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> number six black panther number one <laughs> now i hate it now i really fucking hate it well you guys haven't even seen the top five yet though what are we talking know where about? It's going. uh number five on the list spider-man <laughs> number two by sam raimi this is toby Maguire's spider-man number two that i found interesting but it is the og People do give it its, you know, its props, but but we'll we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. <laughs> Number four, Superman, the original Superman from nineteen seventy eight. Is that when this came out? Something like that, right? Yeah, Seventy eight, yeah, 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 I believe, right? Uh, Superman, the movie. I have no, I have no opinion here. I will let you guys talk about it when we get to that point, but it's because I have not seen it, and it's before my time, so we will talk about it. Number three, Avengers: Infinity. War number three on the list. Oh my god, number two in game into the spider verse. Number two superhero movie of all time, <laughs> and number one. Anybody want to venture a guess? Heath Ledger's Joker, it's the Dark Knight. It is, it is, it is. It is and I, will tell, I, and, I will, and I will tell you guys that on a majority of lists, including IMBD, Collider, The Dark Knight is the number one ranked Superman movie. Uh, uh, sorry, superhero movie of all time on multiple lists that I've looked wait, at. Wait, so wait. I'm just putting it out there. I'm just, just, so, out. just so I'm clear. This is the mm -hmm. one with Bane, right? No, no. This is the one with Heath Ledger's Joker. Heath Ledger's Joker. <laughs> all right. We, we will deliberate, but I will first give you guys just for some reference and some context here. I will give you guys the movies that just landed outside of the top 10. Maybe we want to talk about movies that landed further. But in my opinion, there are some that just didn't make the list that probably deserve to be here. But, but we'll go over them. Let me start at I'm just scrolling down. I will scroll to number 11. I will give you guys 11 through 20 and we will begin to talk about them. Uh, number 11 on the list. This is going to get hated. The Incredibles is number 11. The Pixar, the, the, the Incredibles is number 11. Oh, all right, man. all right, all right. I know. <laughs> the Incredibles, for what it's worth, is a good movie. But again, genre matters, and it's for the kids. And yeah, I, 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 I get it. But we'll leave that at that. Number 12, Endgame. Obviously, Avengers Endgame did not make this top 10 list. How it made it behind The Incredibles is beyond me. What the fuck? 
I let, I'm, <laughs> don't shoot the messenger. Number thirteen, Superman number two, 1980. So the, the sequel to Superman that's on, made the movie. Oh my God. <laughs> number fourteen, Spider Man Across the Spider Verse, the animated, made it to number thirteen already, and it only came out last year. So go figure that it's that high up. Number fifteen, Captain America: The Winter Soldier. Number 16, The Avengers, the OG Avengers from 2012. 17, <laughs> 17, Batman, the Batman. <laughs> what? I, I'm, just, I'm just reporting, don't shoot the messenger. That, it made it to the top 20? The top 20, correct. It is number 17. We are, we are, we are the, and I hate to say this this way, but we are the minority who do not like that movie. I'm telling you, people like that fucking movie. I, I, I don't ask me. And I will round out the top 20. So 18, Thor Ragnarok. You guys know how I feel. 19, Batman, 1989. Michael Keaton, Tim Burton. Uh, and rounding out the top 20 at number 20 is Deadpool, numero uno, from 2016. So Deadpool, number one, from 2016. So as you can see, that list is not all Marvel. It is not all MCU. There's a lot of, you know, there's a mixture this of things. This list is fucking <laughs> poo trash. This is fucking bullshit, bro. First of all, <laughs> first of all, any list that does not have fucking in game and across the, the, the Spider Verse in the first five, Black Panther in the first five is trash. <laughs> now, I was around for the original Superman, the movie. Superman Part Two, mm -hmm. great movies. If yeah. you want to put them on the list, yeah. but no way do they come before certain other movies. Now I know there's Dark Knights with this Heath Ledger thing or whatever <laughs> have you, and you know it's it's funny how when actors die, like their movies become like super cult classics Immortal. that everybody yeah. holds on to, which is you know which can be also said about the Black Panther movie. So I'm, you know, it was it wasn't really my favorite one, but okay. Um, but you, Infinity War and Endgame, are almost in a separate category all to themselves, because they created so many standards for superhero movies, and the final 20, 30 minutes of Endgame. Is everything that this industry is supposed to be about? Hundred percent. At the point where those portals open, and all the superheroes are there to fight Thanos. <laughs> yep. There's, there's, I don't listen. There's nothing fucking with that, bro. Yeah, that nothing. Yeah, yeah. that final thirty minutes of Endgame is some of the best superhero content ever created. Ever <laughs> created. That shit was fucking nuts. <laughs> nuts. nuts, bro. <laughs> Dude, every when when those portals opened, and everybody was like, people had lost their fucking minds and forgot yep. this was a movie. Yep. So That's there's it. no way that Dark Knight and <laughs> Logan at number eight is fucking crazy. That's like, also ludicrous. That is that ludicrous to me. <laughs> Lo Logan, Logan as a Logan. As a as a hero as a superhero movie, obviously how they wrote Logan uh, in the Fox verse, if you will, because I, I guess that's what you call that, the Fox universe. Um, say say what you will that a lot of those movies had their issues. Some of them to me are still good movies, but the way that they wrote Logan and Wolverine, like that Logan movie is one of the most memorable movies I've ever watched. Where I was just like you were, if you were a fan of Wolverine, the character. You were practically in tears at the end of that bullshit. You were like, what the yeah. fuck did I just watch? Like that shit was cinematic gold, in my opinion. Like I, I I would I would argue that superhero movies, like there's no reason Logan isn't isn't mentioned in a top five. There's no reason why well, it's not listen, it's dude, no shot. So 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 I just want to be clear. So Endgame isn't as good as Wonder Woman one. Yeah, that to me is crazy. Like, like who's that's smoking, a who's smoking crack. That's a or crack. Guardians or Iron Man or Spider Man. Right. That to me is 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 or crazy. Superman. I'm sorry, you take I, the nostalgia out of it. 
Listen, because in this I, in this top ten, we have three actors that passed away. Oh, we do. True. Yeah. So wait, I understand the nostalgia for it. I do. I can't really get it. They all played great roles. They all played the great things. But Endgame needs to be in this list. No doubt about it. I, I could I, take off three move. I could take off four move. Oh wait, one, two, three. I could take off one, two, three, four, five of these fucking maybe even six of these movies and make a better list than this. <laughs> um, I would, I would, I would say if I'm gonna play devil's advocate for Endgame, just a little bit. What I will say is I think people's issue with Endgame might be, again, to Chase's point, the last 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes of Endgame is cinematic gold, but it's how much you have. Like, I feel like the first hour and a half of Endgame, not that it's not memorable because obviously how they went about getting to the point that they got to at the end was important and how it had to happen. But I feel like maybe the fact that it started a little slow is the reason for it's not being in the top 10. I can understand that. But again, the last 40 minutes makes up for any negative thing you want to say about the first hour and a half of the movie. Like, like it, it, because the last half hour is fucking insane. But you also, but, at Endgame, you get the the, the closure yeah, for yeah. a lot of characters. You get the closure for uh, Iron Man with his father. You get the closure with uh, um, uh, uh, Captain America. Captain America. You get the closure of fucking um, uh, Spider-Man. Spider-Man, yeah. So... Yep. It's like, and you well, get you, Chadwick's Chadwick. I was gonna say Chadwick's last Marvel movie. Come on, man. Yeah, it's like you, you, I understand where you're putting it, and I'm I am sorry to say if you didn't add, um, I was when I was when I was looking down, I was I, I was like, yo, I remember <clears throat> some animated movies from Batman that were freaking great. Batman Hush, uh, the the Batman um. Mask, oh, Mask of the Phantoms. Yo, the, um, great fucking animation. Uh, yeah, what's the true? Thing? Um, the the incident, the thing that came to Gotham. What's that? What's that movie? What's that one? Um, um hold on. something, something for that it. came to Gotham was 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 a was a crazy joy. The Green Lantern movie. The the that one was crazy. Um. Oh, look, oh, the Batman Beyond, uh, the Return of the Joker, that was a fucking good movie. The uh, Flashpoint, the animation of, of fucking of of Flash, and also uh, what the fuck is this movie? Did you, did oh. you say did you say Batman Mask of the Fan, Fan Phantom the Fan, Phantasm Phantasm yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Batman That's... the Doom that came to Gotham, mm. bro, a a, co a complete spin <clears throat> on Batman, bro. Complete spin. Mm. If you haven't seen Batman Ninja, good ah. fucking ah, what, what have you been doing? <laughs> and this is we're supposed to be DC haters, and I will put the, I will put some yeah. of this animation in here. Yeah, and take some of these shit off. You off. could, you could. I mean, like, listen, I'm not, I'm not. If we try to come up with a, we could, we could try to come up with a collective list together if you guys want. I mean, here's this is where I'm coming from. You guys tell me if you disagree. In my humble opinion if i'm looking at things on this list no disrespect to gal gadot wonder woman's not a top 10 superhero movie of all time it's very very good it's a very good movie but it's yeah. not top 10 so. guardians i've always said mm -hmm. like i'm not the biggest guardians fan but like i could justify it at 10 maybe depending on how you reform i'm sorry the list. soundtrack sold that fucking movie it, no. i mean the soundtrack it's a good movie and it's because it's a bunch of characters who nobody really gave a shit about who then got brought to light and right. they became something. So like, I get it from that standpoint and I'm not just going to sit here and say that they're not, they're not deserving. Like I could keep them at 10 and be okay with that. In my opinion though, I like, and, and people will hate me for this. Iron Man one. I understand it jump started our MCU, but it's not a top 10 movie in my Thank opinion you. with everything that's coming. Thank you. There's, there's, there's no, there's no way it's not, it, it's, not it's, it's borderline. Talking, no, no. It's borderline, but it's not top 10 of all superhero movies. And I love that movie. Listen. Um, Black Panther stays. I would move it up, but Black Panther stays in the top 10, 100%. Right. Uh, Spider-Man 2, Toby, uh, bro, listen. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> I get it, but you're you're not in my top 10, dog. Not Spider-Man 1, not Spider-Man 2. You're not in my top 10 uh, superhero movies of all time. And that's no shade. Those movies are great for when they came out. But top 10 all time? I... 
I can't I can't justify the the Dark Knight. I have such a hard time with because I I think it might be a top ten superhero movie. Hear me out. I don't. It it's not. It's not one. It's not it's one. Not. It is. I it still is think top it's, I, I still think it's a top ten superhero away. movie of all time. I, that movie, what Heath Ledger did, for, forget Christian Bale for a second, but what Heath Ledger did, come on, man, that's that's the Joker, man. That guy, like, come and, on, and dude. I would I would even put Batman eighty nine close in the top ten movies. It, it it's it's you could argue that Batman eighty nine is a great movie. It's it's now. Would you guys say, in your humble opinion, Superman the movie does that belong in the top ten superhero movies of all time? You guys tell me. I haven't seen it, so I can't. I, okay. I think for its time, 1978, like, I mean, come on. Yeah, but, you okay, know? so here's the thing about Superman 78. Um, this this came out at a time where there really wasn't any superhero movies. The That's closest true. thing you got was a Batman movie special um, with Adam West and whatnot, yeah. which you rarely ever saw like it, it yeah. took like a special holiday in the middle of the year and it would show at one time and you'd never see it again. And, um, and you got Batman walking acting like he's walking on top of a yeah, building with, you get the Batman <laughs> with Robin Biden. Biden. Um <laughs> but this but this Superman 78 um uh, was was cutting edge for the time yeah. because they didn't really do superhero movies period at this point. Right. Um not 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 anything that you saw in the cinema let me say that hmm. um so this this was great christopher reeve was great there was a, it was a, it was a great story tell for that time the problem with 78 is there was no competition hmm. so when you don't have options this is excellent because it's the only place i can see superheroes True. No, there's no Wonder Woman in here. There, there's no Flash in here. There's no peep of any other superhero or Justice League member, period, anywhere in sight. So if this is all I have, it's great. But now if I take this and I put this up against other movies that, that follow later, even if I give if I grade on a curve for the fact that this movie's 40 plus years old and whatnot. Yeah, it does not measure up to a top ten. Okay, you know you can put this against Batman eighty nine and Batman eighty nine will fucking knock it out of the park. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, fair, um, fair. Batman. Uh, uh, which one was 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 odd? Was that two or three? No, three was Richard Pryor. Three was three, Richard Pryor. Two was a uh, uh, Superman. You mean yeah, Superman, Superman was odd? Superman. No, it's General Zod and and the other two. Yeah, it was Superman two. Okay, so Superman, Superman two. Could possibly be on this. That was a good fucking movie. Really? That was a great. That was a great that was a good fucking, fucking movie. movie. Mm -hmm. um, Gene Hackman destroys, bro. He, Superman he will too. Ever be one of the greatest out there? Period. Um, <laughs> I don't know that. Number one, this this right here is somebody's nostalgia moment. This is the, their first time going to the movies with that girlfriend from the, that girl from the school that they love so much. This is when you wrote on paper, "Would you go out with me?" And then they have to <laughs> send the paper back. This is the only reason that this ended up in this list. Period. Mm. It does not belong. Mm. Um, if you really want to start getting into these vintage uh, uh, superhero movies, um, you know they belong in a class all them all their own. It's not fair for you to plug them in. It's definitely not better than Endgame. Yeah, that's for sure. It's not. It is not even better than Blade. Uh, <laughs> well, wait, you know, Blade what? Blade, Blade Blade one or Blade two? Blade one. <laughs> oh, the sure first Blade. Mean. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Oh. You know what I'm saying? I'm um, sorry. It's it, it's. I'm sorry to be fair. Uh, Blade is a cult classic. It is. It is. Um, a lot of people didn't even know about it. They didn't even watch it. It was like, yo, this is a Marvel movie. What? Mm -hmm. yeah, true. The fact that. Across the across the Spider Verse is not on here, is deplorable. <laughs> it's deplorable. I, there's there's no way you wait, saw that's the second one. Into no, that th this is into the Spider. This is the first oh, one. Okay, it's the first one. The first one. That's the first one. The second one. The second one was number thirteen. Okay. Second one was number thirteen on the list. How, how is how is that not? Well, this is across the Spider Verse number two. Is probably one of the most eye popping spectacles ever seen in an animation on screen. How is that? Oh, it's one of my favorite movies. How is that 
not better than Wonder Woman, Iron Man, and Spider Man. And, and I'm sorry, Transformer: Rise of the Beast will knock out that Spider Man too. Really? I, I am yeah. sorry, dude. Yeah, bro. I'm with it. That you movie think so? Is, it. Yo, that movie it. is people didn't tough. like that movie that much. Dude, that movie is tough. I don't know about that. I don't know yeah. why people don't like that movie, but that movie like that was movie that tough. Uh, people, I think people didn't like the wrap up on on that. Um, yeah, but so look, at, look at the wrap up that we're getting. They're, we're getting Transformers GI Joe. <laughs> yeah, they they had a point. They they had a they had a, they had a purpose for this movie. I think a lot of people just didn't um, they didn't like the wrap up on 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 the Transformers. Um, I I like that. When they try to add urban feel to the movies, my problem is it gets overly done and it gets cringy. Um, yeah. I love that they, you know, they play in Rakim and KRS One in the movie. Like that's yeah, dope. But, but dude, I didn't think it was like overly done in that movie. I think it was it was done tastefully, yeah. but it's it, just it was just I don't know why people didn't like it because. Prom, um, Primal Prime, holy shit! Every one of the Transformers looks sick. The fight scenes, the action sequence, the that. animation, the, the the CGI, I gotta on that. fucking point. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think people did not didn't like it because of like you know that. I think that people over overall the story. I think people had a problem with mm-hmm. it. It um, That's what I've again. Heard too. The, the 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 whole urban part of it was kind of like it was kind of forced. Like mm-hmm. I I love that they uh, they use Rock Him and all that, but it was kind of forced. Um, I kind of hate the Transformer urban characters that's supposed to be like thugs and shit. They just, but the thing just is, it, that's where it came from. It's from the book. Yeah, but it's 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 it to for me. It's poorly executed. Um, it, it just was too much. Um, but I, I listen. All I'm gonna say is this: <laughs> the move that movie could definitely remove at least two movies on this top ten list, and belongs at least in the top twenty. If I if yeah. I was gonna if I was gonna say one more statement to piss Leo off for the evening, if he saw. Where Captain America: Civil War landed on this list, he would punch his microphone right. Now. <laughs> it is it is outside of the top thirty, is what I will tell you. <laughs> and, so, and some and some and, and, Le- and Leo and some of the shit that beat it out. If I just started naming off names for you, Hellboy, Suicide Squad. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you dumb motherfuckers. How the fuck do you take off the first appearances of two iconic characters in Marvel off the top fucking 15 list? Yeah, it didn't even make it. It's 35. I'll tell you, it's 35. 35. How the fuck do you do that? <laughs> I don't know, man. You, get, you got Spider Man and Black Panther first fucking appearance. The first fucking uh, 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 acknowledgement of uh, fucking Wakanda. No, nah, wasn't wasn't Black Panther's first appearance? Uh, Captain America went to soldier because he fought Bucky in that. That was his first appearance. It, it, yes, he fought Bucky, but you have, yeah. but his death scene, his father uh, T'Challa's yeah, yeah, death yeah. scene, is in that. Yeah, it is. It is. It's an iconic movie for him because he's you know, yeah. Exactly. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. He's in there for the first time, like you know, fighting. You know, you see some some of this. Well, no, but I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. So it's like <laughs> I, to me, like 35 behind like Hellboy and Suicide Squad. I'm like, by the way, the the Suicide Squad you're thinking of, the first one with the Gold Girls Joker. That one is higher than. <laughs> Yo, I gotta you see. Some of you critics need to fucking have your contentions pulled, bro. Seriously, Yo, uh, seriously. <laughs> They need to give us some fucking credentials and give us. Some, just let us let let real people fucking talk about these movies, how they really feel, and not and not be paid by a corporation saying you gotta hate this fucking movie. 
So this is our, our opinions are based on what we watch and what we like is based on our opinions. So it, your opinions can differ, yes. Yeah. But this, like Chase said, this looks like somebody's fanboy pick. Yeah, bro. Like these are because this are, list doesn't make no fucking sense to me. Yeah. It's like <laughs> all so, of the movies that I either either when I was a kid or remind me of being a kid. That that's that's what this look this list looks like. I, I think I think we would all obviously because we all have different opinions on certain movies, obviously, right? But here here's what I would say. I think we can all come to this agreement in its total because I don't think we'll agree on what movies we put in because obviously that's objective. But I would say tell me if you guys think I'm wrong. Superman, 1978, Spider-Man 2, Wonder Woman, and Iron Man would probably get booted off this list. Yes, and then I would say at, at, at minimal, I would probably say Across the Spider-Verse and Endgame would make it on. The other two could probably be deliberated on what you wanted to add based on your preference. But in my opinion, those two would probably be on here somewhere. Am I right or am I wrong? Yeah, yeah. I say the those uh Avengers and uh, Avengers Infinity War, Spider Man, Dark Knight, and Black Panther would stay on this list and Logan. Yeah, I would I would definitely say be in the top ten. The, 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 the next five, it could be swapped out, but I know that the Guardians and Wonder Woman and Iron Man and Superman and Spider Man two would not make the top ten. I, I think you can make a case for Guardians, but I hear you. I think Guardians would be right at the end for me. Like it being a ten yeah. doesn't bother me. You could leave it there and it would be fine. But like you I'm, could, I, I could, me personally, I would swap out Guardians with like a Ragnarok. That's me because of how yeah. much I love Thor. That that's my, but yeah. that's me. You know what I'm saying? Like some people, or honestly, I'll be honest with you. I've already said this multiple times. The third favorite Marvel movie, in my opinion, again, I don't want to drag this on too long, but my third favorite Marvel movie of all time is arguably Captain America: The Winter Soldier. That fucking movie is outstanding. I know you guys yeah. differentiate on it, but to me, that movie belongs on here. It is a good movie. I, is that a movie fucking is fucking, great movie. That movie is fucking great. I can't argue that it is a good but, movie. It's, it's it is. You know, I would put like those two movies: Ragnarok and and Captain America: Winter Soldier. I put those above Guardians on my list any fucking day of the week. But that's me. You know, yeah. like again, it gets objective at that point. But I would, I would put, see me. Yeah. Mine will be probably Batman eighty nine. It would be on definitely on this fucking list. I can't. Believe and then and of, of all time, if I wanted to fucking even add an animation, I would put the uh, the the uh the Phantom uh um the Batman uh oh, fan, Phantasm Phantasm. Phantasm. Yeah. I would yeah. put that on here. That that's a that's a good movie. That's a it's great a movie. Fucking great fucking movie. <laughs> That's a great as movie. an animation yeah. for DC. Yeah. yeah, I would put the yeah, one of the tops. Movie. Uh, where did let me see where that landed on this list? I'm curious. It's on here. I'm curious. It is. Like, yeah, it's on here. It made it to uh, it's 25 on this list. So you're telling me <laughs> now? I made Civil it War <laughs> is behind that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Fuck me. <laughs> and and. It's also okay. behind. Uh, it's also just so you know, Batman: Mask of uh, Phantasm. Say what you want. The the movie right below it, X Men: Days of Future Past. I, I don't. I don't it, know. This also is what happens <laughs> when people that are non comic book aficionados make these lists. This is the nonsense that you get. I, I think this is, a, this is a, just a movie watcher. I, th I think obviously the, the issue that people would partake with us having this list is that they'll say, oh, of course you guys took out all the DC movies and all the Sony movies and you replaced them with, too. with and you replaced them with Marvel. You added to, but I'm saying like for me, they'll be like, oh, well, you're just a Marvel fan and you like Thor and Captain America. So you took out DC movies, add them. Listen, those movies listen, are fucking better. Listen, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I, I'm sorry. Outside of their animation, <laughs> they need to actually make a movie that can land on this list. <laughs> It ain't the Flash. Well, Wonder Woman's a good movie. Wait, wait, Wonder wait, wait, Woman wait, wait. is a good movie. Hold on one second. It's I just got movie. one. I just got one fucking question. Is Green Lantern on this fucking list? No, Green Lantern's not in the top forty. Oh, I swear to God. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is is Daredevil on this fucking list? Uh, uh no. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I was about to break something. <laughs> I was about to break something. Oh. Oh, okay. So you got two things, right? <laughs> but there are some why, like Zebra Man is on this list. <laughs> what the fuck what is that? The Rocketeer from 1991 is on this list. <laughs> I can actually see that. 
<laughs> a lot of people actually like that movie, yeah. believe it or not. Uh, b- believe it or not, if you want to hear something that's controversial, Blade 2 is on here and Blade 1 is not. What? Yeah, Blade 2 is on this list and Blade 1 is not on this list. Yeah. Oh. Un- Unbreakable by M. Night Shyamalan is on this list. Oh, what? It's a- <laughs> That's the movie with um with um that, it was a good movie, Chase. That that had uh that had what's his name in it? Sam, Samuel, Samuel Jackson. Yeah, was it that movie? Wait, is yeah, the crow that's on that's this that's movie? That's the, that's the crow is the crow is in the top twenty five. Uh, okay. Yeah, the crow is in the top twenty five. Shit, I would move that up. Uh, I'm sorry, the crow is twenty. Where the fuck was it? Twenty eight. The crow is twenty eight. Okay, hold on. Is, is Hulk number one on this list? Hulk did not make the list. Yeah, now, oh, again, okay. like I said, this is what happens <laughs> when non comic book aficionados do a list, and it's easy uh, to tell because they miss certain things. Yeah. Oh, God, dude. Yeah. This, 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 this. So no Transformer movie didn't make this whole list. Nope, not one. But I don't know if that's considered in this genre. I mean, like I get what you're saying, but I don't know if it's considered in this in this genre when they're making this list or not. I have no idea. But. It doesn't get more superhero than fucking Optimus Prime. He saved the fucking. He saved the I'm, I, I, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying this is the list they put together. Again, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just I'm just here to show, to tell you what they you know. Uh, the, the super the super infra man from 1975 is on this list. What the fuck is that? I have no idea. I've never heard of it before. Wait, is the Phantom on this list? The Phantom is not on this list. Damn. Yeah. Okay. Watchmen is on the list. Shang Chi made the list. Uh, Zebra Man, Dick Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks for coming, folks. Because this is some bullshit. All right, dude, dude, dude. Wait, Madonna. Wait, Madonna was in Dick Tracy, bro. I'm sorry, I had a crush. Fair, bro. Fair. Um, this was Kick- Madonna. Was Madonna though? Don't Kick forget ass. to check out merch shop. <laughs> Yeah. That's over. Because... <laughs> Fair. Fair. <sighs> All right, folks. Well, listen, that is a, a list reaction. As you can see, we obviously have some opinions there. Uh, we're definitely going to hear from the DC fans, as we always do. Wait, um... wait, 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 Aaron. <laughs> one, 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 one. Okay. Wait, who framed Roger Rabbit? Not on the list. See? God damn it! <laughs> see, what the fuck? Not on the, Not on the list. There are also three X Men movies on this list. Go figure. Um and uh, what else? Both Batman movies, so Batman '89 and Batman Returns. That was Michael Keaton's second movie, right? Yeah, those are both on the list. Both um, Jokers. Yeah, both Jokers. Um, uh, what else? Deadpool, Spider-Man: No Way Home is on the list. Okay. Batman, uh, Mask of Phantasm, Big Hero Number Six, Big Hero Six. It's a kids movie. I don't, you know, Zack Snyder's okay. Justice League is on the list. I say what you want, you know. The Crow, Kick Ass is on the list. <laughs> um, Wait, so Kick Ass is on the list, but correct. Okay. Kick Ass is ranked above Civil War. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, we're done. We're done. All right, before I before I piss Leo off anymore, before I piss Leo off anymore, uh, that's our take. What are your take? What is your take on this top ten list? What would you put in the top ten that didn't make it? Uh, what do you think we got wrong? Are we, are we completely wrong on The Dark Knight? Is The Dark Knight your favorite superhero movie of all time? I don't know. We want to hear from you guys. So, of course, let us know down below in the description what you guys think. Um, as usual, I'll hit you guys with a quick spiel. Your boys are now up over 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. We really appreciate all the love and support in our recent videos. But as I always say, these vi- these uh, bills do not pay themselves. So please continue to tell a friend to tell a friend. Click the like and subscribe button below. It's free for you guys. Helps us out more than you will ever know. While you're down there, check out two things. Number one, consider becoming a member of the channel. If you want to kick it with us and talk about all this stuff on our weekly podcast, you can become a member and get priority access to our comment section. You can make Leo drink. You can help us roast James Gunn every week. It's great. It's what we do best. Um, also, Chase, you want to let them know about little mancave101.org? What's, what's hey, going on listen, over there? Man, you know what I mean? My popular demand, the merch store is now open. Please stop by mancave One Hundred One. Dot org. That's mank101.org. We got hats, we got shirts, we got hoodies, uh, we got bags, we got drinking, we got all kinds of stuff on there for everybody. 
Check us out, man. If you see something you like, please snatch it. We appreciate the support. If you don't see something you that's up there that you that you want, let us know. We will go make it. Valid. We will indeed. Oh. <laughs> um, and of course, as I said, join us 8 p.m. Eastern every Thursday uh, for our weekly podcast uh, right here on YouTube, as well as Instagram, Facebook, and uh, on Kick as well. Uh, kick it in the comments section. Have some fun. We like to drink. We like to, we like to make Leo drink because he, he can't pronounce any names. It's great. <laughs> uh, so, yes, please consider joining us Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern. We look forward to seeing you guys there. Until next time, that's a tier list. That's a list reaction. You Stop making top 10 lists if you don't know superhero movies. God Man, damn it. listen. <laughs> Dude, I swear to God, I can make an argument for who framed Roger Rabbit is better than Spider-Man 2. No transform. No transform. Who wants it? Who wants it in the comments? <laughs> Bring it. You talk about uh, Spider Man too. I'll talk about who framed Roger Rabbit. Let's see who wins. All I have to say is one name: Jessica Rabbit. That's it. Great googly moogly. <laughs> <laughs> Till next time, folks. Peace. Deuce. Uh huh. Yeah, 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 what we told you, it's official. Yeah, yeah, yeah. non stop, 24 7 3, 6.